Okay, so the first challenge is to draw it in 9 seconds. By the way, if you want to join me doing all the challenges, I will put the picture of Jenny on the right, so you can draw along. So as you can see, this kind of looks quite like Jenny, right? I think it's probably one of my best drawings, if I can say so myself. But let's not be too generous, so maybe let's give it a mm, 3 out of 10. Just to like, have some space to improve. I know I said in the beginning that this is going to reduce my anxiety around drawing, but I think this was the most anxiety and time rushing I could ever get packed in this little amount of time, right? So for 90 seconds, this one was actually so much fun. I mean, I kinda wish to have had more time to go in with some watercolor, at least a little bit, but I totally didn't have the time for that anymore. So in the end, I just did some swooshes over it. But the proportions, I think, those are pretty good for that tiny amount of time. Keeping in mind that I usually take hours for them, depending on how hard they are to do. And you know, sometimes they look worse than here. So I kinda do like it, even though it has some potential to improve here and there. So maybe let's give it a 5 out of 10, I would say. So let's continue with the 9 minute one. Oh, and by the way, if you want to join me with this challenge, feel free to share your results with me on Instagram. Either tag me in your stories or in your posts and I will share them in my stories. By the way guys, I just had a horrible experience at a coffee place. So you know, I got a matcha at this place and it was the most delicious one I ever had. So, you know, um, I drank everything of it. When the last few sips were there, I suddenly felt like a lumpy clump. <laughs> so it was weird because it did not taste like anything and it was a little bit crunchy. So I thought, it's probably not matcha, maybe that's some sugar clump or something, but it wasn't sweet. It was not matcha and it was not sugar. It was something else. And when I felt what it was, I was so disgusted. Yeah, you know, I crunched it and that's why it was five different bits of it. And then, you know, I noticed that it was like a fly. So I had five different parts of that fly in my mouth and it was so disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, that was the horrible story from the fly in my mantra. Okay, so back to the drawing. So this time it looks definitely not good and something definitely looks off. And it makes me wonder why it almost looks the same as the previous one. Because I had much more time on this one. Expect even kind of worse. But maybe that's because the painting is still in its ugly face and it lacks all the contouring, right? So I give it a 3 out of 10, but this one was kind of fun, so I give it an extra fun point. So guys, let's start with the 90 minute one, which for me is the most exciting one, because it means you have to rush in terms of not thinking too long about each step, but still you can kind of add details and it could end up looking cute. So if this one turns out well, I might actually do a second giveaway. By the way, let me know in the comments which of all of these you like most, and also why. This time, actually, I did a huge haul on watercolor supplies and spent so much money on nice tools and paint, because anytime you guys saw me using watercolors before, I was using either way some crusty dusty watercolors from my primary school, or I sneaked my boyfriend's sister's aquarelle paint for two times. Sorry, Lara, if you watched this. I'm pretty sure she does not watch this. <laughs> but um, you will see in the end of this video, I finally got my own set of paints. And they are really, really nice. I really love them. And if I could, I would be painting with them all day long. I definitely find a lot of fun lately in trying out watercolors. Because it kind of weans you off of drawing super realistic and I kinda enjoy that. Also, you can be a bit more loose with applying color and you can keep adding and adding a bunch on top. And it sometimes even creates nice forms that look kinda cool. By the way guys, I just received the 100k YouTube play button, which is so cool. 
and I know we already add almost a million, which is so insane to me because I never would have dreamed to have such a cool and like-minded community that I can share my art with. And I'm so grateful to have all of you guys and especially the success on YouTube means so much to me since I grew up wanting to become a YouTuber when I was little. So thank you so much for all of your support and love. So this painting actually does not look too bad for 90 minutes. Uh, I think the colors are quite cool, but still it looks a little bit bold. But I was just very hesitant to try and add lots of yellow by watercolors. So I actually went in with the pencils, which worked out pretty well, I gotta say. But um, you could consider that cheating, but who says you can't use colored pencils for some extra edge, right? Uh, anyways, I think the yellow really makes it pop, so I do kind of like it. The only thing is that the proportions of the face are not ideal. Like, Jenny's jaw looks a little bit different than here. But I was so excited to start with the watercolors that I kind of rushed too much with the proportion sketching. Uh, still, I do think you can assume it's Jenny, right? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. So I would give it a 7 out of 10. Mm, or maybe 6 out of 10, considering that I had 90 minutes for this. So, onto the version where I am basically taking as much time as I want and feel like to perfection every stroke I take. Well, at least as good as I can. Uh, I first sketched out the whole base and then I went in with a fine liner to go over the pencil strokes to create a uniform look and it also looks a bit more bold and strong with it. Then I just wet the brushes and went in straight away with the watercolors. By the way, a good tip is to tape down the sides of the paper onto the plate or wherever your paper is staying. So with this the paper should stay straight and not get wavy once you add the water. And I actually didn't know about it, so yeah, I didn't do it, so it got wavy a little bit. But next time though I will try that out. But be careful what kind of tape you're using, uh, you're supposed to use like a frog tape or something, so you don't rip off the paper. As you can see I was super hesitant to add color, um, because I really liked the sketch and I did not want to ruin it. And I mean this is not particularly something bad, because I actually really love the soft look of the colors. But my goal for future paintings is to experience a little bit with adding lots of color and while still achieving a crisp look, so without having it look muddy in the end. This is just such a pretty picture of Jenny, so it looks kind of cool with watercolors I think. I really hope some of you guys are trying to paint it as well and I'm so excited to see your results if you do. What also really always makes my days is seeing all of the drawings you guys are making of me. It's really so sweet and always warms my heart when I see them on Instagram or even some on YouTube. I actually at this point should do a whole separate video on showing your drawings soon. You guys are so cute and talented. By the way, right in the middle of painting this one, my new watercolors and brushes all arrived. So I was so excited to try them all out. I will link all the products I used below and also a shout out to James Lewis who sent me his brush package, which I really really love. They are perfect for creating long controlled strokes. So I will give away this painting to one of you guys and it doesn't matter where you live. So it is an international giveaway since I know most of you live in the US or India and Indonesia. So yeah, all you need to do is leave a comment under this video and say why you would like to win the painting 
and I will contact the winner in 10 days. And I will also announce the winner in my next community post and Instagram post. And because I know not everyone has YouTube, this giveaway will also be open on my Instagram. So there's two ways for you guys to win. Just either comment under this video or under my Instagram photo why you'd like to win the painting. So yeah, I wish all of you guys a lot of luck. So, for the fact that this was my first real watercolor painting on professional watercolor paper, I think I did a good job. And out of all the watercolor paintings I've done so far, it's definitely one of my favorite. I just really like the soft look and the colors I used here. So I think I give it a 8 out of 10. Let me know what you think about each of these paintings. I really enjoyed making this video and drawing in all these different time sequences. It kind of warms you up and lets you enjoy the process so much more. So yeah guys, don't forget to enter the giveaway and follow me on Instagram for more art and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, let me know your wishes for the next videos down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!